we are here playing the biggest tournament of the year so far it's going to be a 5300 dollars buy-in at the borgata in atlantic city their main event and first place is going to be walking away yes it's going to be a big one with at least half a million dollars you can't win if you don't play and to start off day one of the event one of the first hands i get dealt pocket kings the cowboys and we're gonna be in big blind a beautiful big blind special starting stack is forty thousand, and we're starting off at level two of the event because i didn't buy in for level one so let's get it blinds are gonna be 100 200 my opponent and under the gun is gonna be open into 500 it gets to low jack and they're gonna be bumping it up with that three bet to 1600 it folds all the way around to me in the big blind and you already know we're gonna have to go for it here i'm gonna be putting in that code four bet with pocket kings playing super deep here to start this tournament and it's gonna be a massive one i make it 5400 to go under the gun is gonna be laying down air cards but low jack the three better pre he's gonna be put it in the call and keep in mind here recording is not allowed at the borgata i do have some pictures of the boards but you can follow all of the action on the overlays i didn't miss anything there and if we do have any all-in moments we will have live footage of that because that's all you're allowed to record all ends but not the tables so we're going to be going heads up to a flop of four six six two spades do have the king of spades in my hand and odds are my opponent shouldn't have much six x in their range but i do have to keep in mind we're super deep here is a small possibility they could have it but yeah i mean this big of a buy-in don't really see somebody getting that out of a line with a three bet low jack versus under the gun we should have the best hand so far and i'm going to start building a spot here we have the second best start in hand in poker think about my sizing for a little bit i'm going to be making it 5600 to go and my opponent after only a couple of seconds is going to be finding a call and we're going to go to the turn and it comes the three of diamonds not too scary of a turn card here my opponent will never have two five suited there's no way in hell that's going to happen and i do not believe they have seven five suited in their range either so my kings are still looking like they're going to be the best hand here not going to be slowing down on turn i'm going to be firing another barrel here i do go with another small wager I grab my chips i'm gonna be making a 6500 to go my opponent does take a little bit longer this time but they're still gonna be put it in the call we go to the river and it comes the five of clubs not the best river here and at this point in the hand i do go into the tank for a bit my opponent isn't gonna have much 2x in their range and i start thinking about how much 7x they have weighing all of these factors and thinking about how strong my pocket kings are and i'm looking at my stack seeing how much i have left and relative of the pot and after weighing all of these factors and thinking about it yes one of the first hands of the tournament we're gonna be going for it already it's gonna be an aunt jamama moment i'm all in on the river and my opponent snap folds honestly them snap folding is a lot better than them snap calling they didn't show their hand but i did ask them what they have and they did say pocket queens the ladies my favorite hand and feels like my opponent is not lying there they put me on aces but i had kings maybe i got a little bit too greedy there on the river but hey i love my play love my line and let me know how you feel about this first hand of the tournament my line size and pre flop turn etc and the river play as usual in the comments below and we're gonna already be almost up to 60k after this big first hand to start the tournament and it's now going to be level three here blinds are going to be 200 300 with a 300 ante and i'm going to get dealt pocket sixes black sixes to be exact in cutoff position it's going to fold all the way around to me in cutoff i'm going to be finding that open to 700 bowls to my opponent in big blind they're going to be putting in a call we're going to be going heads up to a flop of king jack nine rainbow now if there's a bad flop for pocket sixes this is going to be it all over cards some up here on the board i have fourth best pair at this point yeah not much going for me here the only thing that would be good is if i can find the random devil's card to hit a set 
and my opponent's gonna start out with a check and yeah like i said not much going i want to see a turn dealer so i decide to check back we go to the turn and it comes the ten of spades very rare in poker you have this but it is a rainbow board on the turn no flush draws are possible my opponent's gonna be checking again and yeah there's a four card straight out there i look down and see that i just have pocket sixes uh you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna imagine that one of these cards our queen time to put some money in the middle so i grab my chips put out a bet here and it's not gonna be a big one just a small wager here i make it 600 to go they take about it for a couple of seconds they're gonna be coming along with the call we go to the river and it comes the five of spades six of spades could never come but hey a six would have been nice at least i know i could possibly have the best hand and only lose a straight but my opponent's gonna check and yeah i am still in my imaginary phase of having a queen in my hand i know it's my favorite card my favorite hand is pocket queens anytime i have a queen it's plus ev i've been doing this for years and every time you look at me and see me at a table just know i always have a queen in my hand because the ladies love me that's just how it is so yes we're going for it here it's gonna be a massive one grab my chips and i make it four thousand to go a nice sexy over bet here and they only think about it for maybe three four seconds and then they lay their cards down what a beautiful good job i did there with the straight i had in my hand right we take down another pot in this big massive buy-in and there goes that lady i was talking about we're gonna have one in our hand i get dealt king queen offsuit in small wine position it is gonna be blind level four of the tournament now blind is gonna be 200 400 with a 400 annie under the gun who is a solid reg is going to be open into 1100 under the gun plus one is going to be put it in the call Folds all the way around to me in small blind and yeah decent hand here i want to see a flop i put in the call and big blind is going to be put in the call as well and as we are going to the flop the solid reg did announce he misclicked yes he misclicked in live poker he did not mean to open the 3x grabbed the wrong chips miscounted whatever but hey see it happens online poker is not the only place you can misclick but yes we're going to be going four ways to a flop of king queen jack two diamonds now that's a sexy ass flop if i've ever seen one we flop top two pair in this multi-way pot i'm only going to be behind two straights like ace 10 9 10 etc and yeah behind to pocket jacks queens and kings kind of hard to have kings and queens at this point right when i have each one of the cards in my hand so yeah i'm feeling pretty good here i start out with a check big one's gonna check the original opener aka solid reg is gonna be put in a seabed here multi-way they make it 1200 to go under the gun plus one puts in a call and yeah doesn't look like i ever really want to go to the turn here four ways right or even three ways so we're gonna be going for it it's time to bump up the stakes i'm gonna be putting in that check rizzle on the flop here multi-way and i'm gonna be bumping it up all the way to 8,000. big blind's gonna fold original opener thinks about it for maybe 10 seconds he's gonna be laying down his cards and then under the gun plus one is gonna be folding too so we scoop another pot here in this tournament like i said i'm deadly when i have a lady in my hand or even when i don't have the lady next hand i'm gonna get dealt ace 10 suited in cutoff position it's gonna fold all the way to me in cutoff i'm gonna be open into 1000 folds to my opponent in big blind they're gonna be put it in the call so we're gonna be going heads up to a flop of king jack five two diamonds decent flop here to start off with as in i'm drawing to the gutter to the nuts and just gonna be looking for my favorite card again the lady don't have any backdoor flush draw equity and we can also hit an ace just in case my opponent does have a pair already they're gonna be starting out with a check and i'm gonna be finding a c bet here this time around grab my chips put out a small wager here i make it 800 to go big blind thinks about it for a little bit they're gonna be putting in a call and we go to the turn and there comes my lady the queen of spades oh man just never ceases to amaze me we just turn the stone cold nuts they're gonna be putting in a check and definitely 100 percent gonna be firing here on turn think about my sizing for a bit time to size up a little bit here grab my chips i make it 2800 to go this time unfortunately only after a couple of seconds they do lay it down 
would have loved to get paid here when I have a hand, but can't be too upset. Winning a pot is a lot better than losing. And it's time for one of my favorite spots in poker, some blind versus blind action. Love to see it. Ranges are wide, pots get crazy. Let's see if this one has those same parameters. And it's gonna fold all the way around to me in small blind. Look down and I see pocket sixes, red sixes to be exact. Pretty cool, I just had black sixes earlier and now I have red sixes. Let's see if we can hit the devil's card this time. I do decide this time just to limp. Big blind takes a peek at his cards and he's gonna be checking back. So in his limped blind versus blind pot, we're gonna be going heads up to a flop of four, three deuce rainbow. Now this is a much better flop than before with pocket sixes. I have an over pair to the board. If my opponent did have a pair that is bigger than pocket sixes, I believe I would have already heard from them pre-flop. So I have a good feeling that I have the best hand. I am behind two straights that could already be there on the board, but hey, I have sixes. So kind of hard for my opponent to have the six five, of course. And even if they do have ace five, I can still turn or river a five to have the better straight. And I do think about my options this time around. I'm not going to be betting here. I know my hand is extremely strong so far, but I'm gonna start out with a check. And after a couple of seconds, looks like they're gonna be putting in a bet here. They make it 500 to go. And that's perfectly fine for me because I set the trap. We're going for it. I'm gonna be putting in that check rizzle. That was my plan the entire time if they decided to put in a stab there. And I'm gonna be bumping it up all the way to 1500. They do think about it for maybe five seconds or so. Looks like they have a hand. They're gonna be putting in a call. We go to the turn and it comes the seven of clubs. Now, kind of a sad turn. I now have second best pair, but it is a rainbow turn. Very rare this happens in poker, so there are no flush draws possible. And I think about my options here on the turn. I can of course either check or fire again. And after weighing a bunch of factors in my mind, I decide I'm gonna be firing one more bower here after putting in that check rizzle. If I grab my chips, I'm gonna be making it 2,700 to go. Pretty decent size compared to what's in the pot. They do tank for a little bit longer this time, maybe 10 to 15 seconds. They're still not folding though. They're gonna be putting in the call. We go to the river and it comes the nine of clubs. Now I have third best pair. Wasn't worried about the seven. Honestly, not too worried about the nine here, but I don't really see a point in firing another bet here with this particular run out coming. So this time around, I'm gonna be putting in a check. And after a second or two, they check back. I let them know I got a pocket sixes and they are gonna be mucking their cards. Very fortunate to take down the pot after two over cards comes against my pocket sixes. I've been doing well in this tournament so far already. And if you want to get better at MTTs, check out Poker Academy, the company I've been an ambassador with for almost two years. It has a pre-flop trainer that you can use for poker drills to improve in various spots of the game, whether you're on your computer or on your phone as well. The user interface is amazing, and it is the biggest pre-flop database on the market right now. It has ICM for all stages of tournament play and also post-flop solutions. Poker Academy has truly taken my game to the next level. I always try my best to only give support to sites that have truly helped improve my own game. You can use code BRANDONSLY for 10% off your subscription, and you can receive a free $10 if you do a monthly subscription or a free $50 rebate from me if you do the yearly subscription. The site is gonna be pinned to the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or you can contact me via Discord through direct message. And now let's get back to the action at the Bogato. Blinds are steadily increasing. It is now level six. Day one does last until level eight. So we have three levels to go here and it's gonna be 300, 600, with a 600 ante. And by now you already know I love them, but I finally get dealt them pocket queens, the ladies. Red ladies to be exact in a low jack position. And it's gonna fold to me in low jack. I'm gonna be finding that open here. I make it 1400 to go. A lot of heads up pots here. It does fold to big blind and yeah, same situation. They're gonna be putting in the call. Nobody else wants to make that flat behind me, I guess. So we're gonna be going heads up to a flop of two six jack or diamonds. That is a bloody flop there. We do have red queens though. So I am gonna be drawing two the third nuts here. 
and i also have an over pair to any pair that's on the board so of course i'm feeling pretty good about the flop and my holding they're gonna start out with a check this time around i am gonna be finding a c bet here just gonna be a small wager this time grab my chips i make it 1200 to go after a couple of seconds they're gonna be put it in the call we go to the turn and it comes the seven of diamonds i now have the third nuts only losing to the king and ace of diamonds they do decide to check and this time around i know i could fire a bet but with that flush card coming in i decide i want to see a river i check back we go to it and it comes the ten of diamonds so i still do have the third nuts well, I guess the fourth nuts because they can have nine eight of diamonds for a straight flush. Big whoop. Don't see that happening too often. I feel pretty confident I have the third nuts. Looks like they are going to be firing a bet here on the river. Not too big of one here. They do make it 2200 to go. And I do think about my options here for a little bit. I could call, which is completely fine. But I mean, I have the ladies. Come on now. We want to put some money in there. I know it's not the biggest flush in the world but i am going to be going for it here i'm going to be putting in that raise in position bumping it up all the way to seven thousand, roughly three x or so raise in position they do think about it for a couple of seconds they're going to be laying it down looks like i did have the best hand maybe they were bluffing or maybe they decided to fold a flush not sure but all i do know is i'm winning and i'm building up a stack here on day one at the borgata Blinds up again here as you move to level 7. It's going to be 400, 800 with an 800 ante. I am sitting currently at 73k, almost a 2x starting stack. And I'm going to get dealt ace 3 suited, the spade variety, in hijack position. It's going to fold to me in hijack. I'm going to be finding that open here. I make it 1800 to go. Folds all the way around to my opponent in big blind. They're going to be putting in the call. We go heads up to a flop of 998, two spades. Oh baby, looking pretty good here. I am drawing to not the stone cold nuts. I am drawing to the nutted ace high flush. Would be really good if I can find a spade on the turn or the river. My opponent is going to start out with a check. And I'm going to be finding a seabed here on the flop. Just going to be a small wager this time. Grab my chips. I make it 1500 to go. After a couple of seconds, big blind is going to be put it in the call. We go to the turn and it comes a beautiful seven from heaven the seven of spades i just turned the ace high flush let's get it yes i'm gonna be behind two boats which there are boats possible but there are hands that i'm going to still get paid by with my extremely good holding they decide to check the turn i decide to size down put it on a small wager i just make it 2500 to go after about five or ten seconds Looks like my opponent is going to be check raising. I mean, that's music to my ears. I have the ace high flush. They're going to be bumping it up all the way to 7,500. A 3x check raise to be exact and perfectly fine by me. I love my hand, take my chips, and I put in a call. Would prefer the river to not be a spade because that might slow down the action. So let's go to it. Keep it clean, dealer. And it's going to come the king of spades, possibly the worst river that can come here. Like, how am I going to get paid on this river? I still could get paid, but yeah, it just makes things a lot less likely now. And with the scary river coming out, looks like that's going to slow my opponent down. Another negative factor of the spade coming in. They're going to be checking. And I think about my sizing for a bit here. Obviously, I'm still going to be betting. And not going to go for the small wager this time. I'm going to bet a decent sized one here. I do grab my chips. I make it 16000 to go. And I swear to you, as soon as my chips hit the middle, my opponent snap calls. I've never seen a call as quick as this. I let them know I got a flush. I accidentally didn't let them know I had the nut flush. That was my bad. But I did say I have a flush turning over my cards. And then it was... <laughs> they they kind of just shook their head a little bit. And he was like, damn, you had that flush, you know, out loud and everything like that. And they do proceed to muck their cards and they turn over mucking the nine of diamonds. So it looks like they did have trips. I'm not sure if they had another spade in their hand. I don't believe they did because they exposed the nine of diamonds. But who knows? They could have just called trips and thought I was just firing out a bluff there. Or maybe they called the weaker spade. I don't know. But hey love that i managed to take down this pot and i am now a little bit over 100,000. 
in chip count having a 2.5x start and stack nearing the end of day one and we have a lady in our hand again let's get it i get dealt queen 10 offsuit in big blind i know not the prettiest hand but any hand with a lady in it is extremely pretty to me it's gonna fold to my opponent in low jack and this is the same guy that i just beat with the ace high flush blinds did also go up by the way so this is gonna be the last level of the day level eight 500 1000 with a 1000 ante and in low jack they're gonna be finding that 2x open here to make it 2000 to go Folds to my opponent on a button they're gonna be putting it in the call small blind folds and hey only one more big blind to call and see a flop so i flick it in so we're gonna be going three ways to a flop of four queen seven two diamonds beautiful flop lady is there i do not have the best kicker to go with her but at least my kicker is the ten of diamonds so i do still have some backdoor equity to the fourth nuts if a diamond diamond rolls off so yeah i do like where i'm at in this hand so far but i do have to be careful with my kicker of course not being a pre-flop aggressor here i'm gonna start out with a check my opponent in low jack the original aggressor pre he's gonna be finding a seabed here they make it 3500 to go but and can't continue they lay down their cards and i can damn sure continue with top here we kick her i'm gonna be put it in a call we go to the turn and it comes the three of diamonds there goes that diamond equity i was talking about i do have 80 percent of a flush and this is a very interesting card here because there's some fun things that sometimes i can do here and i decide to make it a bit fun here against the same opponent i was playing against and yeah i'm gonna be going for it i'm putting out a donk bet not too often i do these but feeling like this is a perfect time to i do grab my chips and i put out that lead bet for four thousand and not the biggest donk and i guess my opponent agrees it's really not that much they're gonna be put it in the call and we're gonna go to the river and it comes my lady the queen of clubs now we have trip queens weak kicker though but still trip queens and as fast as they snap call turn i already know they're going to be snap calling river here think about my sizing for a bit well let's hope snap call and not snap raise right but yeah looking at my chips i grab them i put out a decently sized wager here making it 15,500, and i get my wish again they snap call i let them know yo i got trips turning over my lady and they angrily muck their cards looks like they're very upset i'm two and oh against them way to take down that pot by playing against the same player who i just had history against sometimes you have to use that to get even more chips out of your opponents and i'm now going to be up to a whopping 122,000 3 3x start and stack my goal in day one is to get to 130,000, which 13 is my favorite number so we're almost there and that will put me around top 30 or higher stack going into day two and yes it's show time not only am i building a stack here but i'm gonna get the pocket aces the rockets not the best hand in poker because the ladies are the best hand but it is the second best hand in poker i'm feeling pretty good about it hoping that somebody opens up before me but unfortunately it is gonna fold all the way around to me in cutoff position looks like i have to do the dirty work myself i grab my chips and i make it 2200 to go button doesn't immediately put in a call they tank for about 20 seconds or so i don't know what the hell they're thinking about but usually when somebody does this they're gonna be firing at three bet in the tournament so i do see them grab more chips in the 2200 they make it 5500 to go a 5.5x big blind three bet and it does fold back around to me i do see my opponent is playing 36 big blinds effective here so their stack is about 36,000, roughly starting stack for day one. And I do have some options here. I can go with the four bet, whether it's a four bet jam or a four bet. I can call, or I guess I can fold, but that's not really one of the options ever, right? And after weighing in some factors, I am going to be going with the calling option. Yes, I am just going to be calling here with pocket aces. So I take my chips and I flick it in. Let's go to a flop dealer. And we're going to go heads up to a flop of three jack eight two clubs 
don't have the ace of clubs on my hand but that's fine we have an overpair to the board i mean any board could have came and i would have an overpair but at least the board is not paired like at least there aren't two jacks two queens two kings etc on it so i do like where i'm at in this hand right now and i'm gonna be putting in the check two to three better pre and after a couple of seconds they decide they're gonna be checking back not gonna lie i'm a little bit surprised about this check right now as i am going to the turn and we go to it and it comes my lady the queen of hearts that's a fine turn here would be kind of crazy for them to have 10 9 suited don't really see that in their range i mean it's possible but no just really don't see it happening right now so i'm not worried about that that did bring in the back door heart flush draw do have the ace of hearts in my hand but i'm still gonna be firing a bat here cannot allow my opponent to check back turn and realize equity for free on the river i think about my size in here and i'm gonna be putting out a bet of 10 big blinds i make it 10,000. my opponent goes into the tank for about 20 seconds or so and it's funny because they kind of do this like fidgeting thing whatever you want to call it i don't know if that's really the right word but i get what i'm saying like he's kind of like squirming moving around like he's upset at the bet you know like he doesn't know what he wants to do versus this bet and then somehow 10 seconds after he does this weird fidgeting thing he announces to the dealer he's gonna be all in and when i saw this happen i immediately thought holy shit you've got to be kidding me Am I getting Hollywooded right now? Is Hollywooded even a word? I don't know, but it looks like they're putting on a show and I do not call right away with pocket aces. Not gonna lie, I don't, but I do take my cards. I peel them up. I look at them, make sure I have aces and I'm still worried about the Hollywooding. So I, I don't call right away, but after five seconds, maybe seven seconds, I do finally, of course, flick in the call and well behold what is my opponent turnover pocket jacks the jj's of course they were just hollywood in the fuck out of me but yeah can i really fold aces maybe i mean i had the live tell correct which i've been getting a little bit better at this year it was kind of obvious they had a strong hand but if they just had top here with the queen i could see them maybe doing the same thing so yeah just can't fold aces here unfortunately and maybe they check back pocket kings i don't know man it's just so many factors playing in here but i cannot fold aces they set the trap they got me unfortunately didn't get footage of the run out but we do have the picture of the board let's go to the river we only have two outs as long as one of them isn't folded so i believe i have two outs we're gonna go to the river and it comes a rubber ducky not the river i wanted to see and i did let the person know really of course right like that's exactly what i told them they knew what they did they apologized to me and said sorry about that and you know what i told them i said hey no need to be sorry this is the mentality i have because at least i still have a lot of chips in front of me no complaints it wasn't for a bigger pot i'm happy to get losing to that two outer out of the way in day one because when i get to day two and further down the line that is the time your pocket aces and kings if you even get dealt them need to find those holds i do lose thirty six thousand of my stack but hey what can you do and next hand i'm gonna get dealt ace king offsuit the best drawing hand in poker as everyone loves to call it but hey i love me some ace king sometimes it's with you and sometimes it's against you right and under the gun is going to be finding that open here they make it two thousand to go we get one fold and villain and low jack looks like they're gonna be putting in more than two thousand in they're grabbing the chips for that three bet and they're gonna be making it seven thousand to go i am to their direct left and we have roughly the same stack but i did see this player get out of line here in a previous spot like they check raised in this pot and they just should have never checked raised their hand it was just bad it was just a really bad play here so i know they're capable of getting out of line here and i'm not gonna get out of line here i'm just gonna be doing something normal i'm gonna be putting in that nice code four bet again the second one of day one well, at least i'm gonna be in position this time i did think about my sizing four bit here and i like to go with 18,200 I know very exact number but that's a number I've came up with in my head <laughs> in hijack position it's gonna fold all the way around to the original opener they end up folding and the person who three bet goes into the tank for about 30 seconds or so 
but eventually they do end up laying down their cards. I am more than happy to pick up almost 10 big blinds or so there in that pot. I just lost 36 to that opponent to my left, but to get back close to 27 percentage or so of my stack here with a cold four bet and not even having to see the flop, I have no complaints here. So we take down that pot and now we are back up to 91,500. And we're at the end of day one. We're getting that beautiful bag and tag. Didn't get up to the stack that I wanted, but we are going to lock up 91,800 chips to end the night. Roughly over a 2x starting stack. Day two of the Bugatti main is going to be out in a couple of days. But if you love tournament sessions, make sure you check out day two and three of the WPT 10K main event.